The definition of going all in means to try with great determination to achieve something, especially when this involves taking a big risk. In order to reach the pinnacle of the NBA, which is winning the NBA Finals, teams have to take a risk. There have been many examples of teams going all in. Some end up being more successful than others, but a team at least one time will be presented an opportunity to make a trade to go all in. It's up to them if they are willing to take that risk. There is a team that is in prime position to take that risk, trading for a player that could get them over the top. That team is the OKC Thunder, and that player is Laurie Markkinen. Now, you're wondering, why would it make sense for the Thunder to trade for Laurie Markkinen? Well, let's get into that. Offensively, the Thunder are already good at having a top 10 offensive rating in the league, which is spearheaded by their young superstar, Shea Gilgis Alexander. One of the best scorers in the league, and the other players carrying a lot of this offensive load include Jalen Williams, aka J-Dub, and Chet Holmgren. J-Dub is averaging an efficient 17-4-4 and as the second option, while Chet has arguably been the best rookie in the league, averaging an efficient 17 points per game as the third option, and you have role players helping out, such as Lou Dort, Kaysen Wallace, Isaiah Joe, Cambridge Williams, and the other Jalen Williams shooting 37 plus percent from deep on decent volume. The Thunder have been this good offensively, despite Josh Giddy being a massive negative offensively which is evident in his offensive box plus minus currently sitting at a negative 1.2 Laurie Markinen would immediately come in and take the Thunder's offense to new heights Laurie is incredible offensively at the time of this recording averaging 23 points per game on basically 48 38 85 shooting splits according to sin energy sports data he's tied for first place when it comes to offensive efficiency among volume scores and guess who's behind him oh yeah sure you might be seeing this and be saying how can this work shay and laurie both need the ball to be effective which you would be incorrect laurie is great playing off ball which is clear with how much of his shots are assisted at the time of this recording 75.6 percent of his two point field goals are assisted and 96.4 percent of his field goals from deep are assisted and laurie is tied for second in games with 20 or more points on 60 or less dribbles this season so, OKC wouldn't have to make a drastic change to their offensive scheme. Laurie can just slide in perfectly to what they are already doing. Defensively, Laurie would give them more size, adding another true 7-footer that will actually play a lot of minutes. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, I would appreciate it if you could like this video as it helps the video perform better in the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel. I would gladly appreciate it. The Thunder are not the biggest team. This is evident with their rebounds per game and who's their starting power forward and backup center. OKC is bottom 10 in the league when it comes to rebounds per game and J-Dub is their starting power forward. Despite J-Dub only being 6 foot 5 and their backup center, the other Jalen Williams is 6 foot 9. You move J-Dub to small forward, Lou Dort to shooting guard, and slide Laurie to power forward. Come on now, tell me the starting five don't look sexy. What? Did he say? Even though Laurie's not the best shot blocker in the world, just off his size alone, he can provide some rim protection. So when Chet is the big in the pick and roll, the Thunder would not be at a huge disadvantage. They can have Laurie as the backline help and vice versa. When Laurie's the big in the pick and roll, Chet can be the backline help, which is just scary to think about. Chet is already one of the best rim protectors in the NBA, being top five in total block and blocks per game and when Chet is out the game the Thunder can have some lineups with Laurie playing center. Laurie's also capable of holding his own on the perimeter against forwards. Now with the potential trade package for Laurie the asking price could be five-ish first round picks which is fine for OKC they have tons of first round picks. I don't know what the exact picks the Thunder would give up but the framework of the trade would be something like this. I know five first round picks is a lot to give up but the Thunder trading for 
Ari, in my opinion, is the correct move to make. There is no guarantee a superstar player becomes available anytime soon and the Thunder as constructed are good enough to hang with the top teams in the West, but if they trade for Lari Markkinen, they wouldn't be just good enough to hang with them they would be good enough to beat them. If you are still here watching this right now, I appreciate you watching this video. Let me know in the comments, do you think the Thunder should trade for Laurie Markkinen? See y'all in the next one.